Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Sturge here, and here we're back on Channel 11 for the Tunnel 11 Let's Play. Right now you have five of the five builders and the laboratory ready to get something going inside of there. And we also have full gold elixir and dark elixir storages because I was doing a bunch of farming off camera making the top five farming armies for Channel 11. And the army we're going to be using to farm in today's video is the mass sneaky goblin attack strategy. This is what I pretty much used to fill up the storages mostly. And here is the army here. Here, I am going to be using one regular goblin and a minion. The reason for that is because I want to complete a couple more of the challenges inside the season pass so we can work our way up to completing it so we can get two more book of heroes so we can use that on the warden to max him out for the final hero of the three. So let's head on immediately by heading over to the progress base and getting a bunch of stuff going in there so we can head out and do a bunch of raids because we have full of basically each resource. We're going to start off by heading up to the top of the base and upgrading a bunch of walls using the elixir we have. We are almost done with these walls. I think we have around one more row to go. Basically one more row. So let's get these continuing here. I think we're going to farm around uh, 8 million in the hour boost that I will be doing for this video. And we have 10 million gold still to use, which I think we are going to upgrade one of the wizard towers. We're going to be upgrading three or four of these up to the max level for tunnel 11 so we'll upgrade this first one here 6.12 million gold in a seven and a half day time we'll get that going down there bringing us down to 3.8 million gold and now all we have to spend is the dark elixir before we head on to the farming attacks using the mass sneaky goblins we're gonna head over and upgrade probably the bowlers because it is the most expensive out of all of the dark elixir upgrades 100,000 dark elixir and a five and a half day time for this one here we'll let that run for the entire five days and now that we have most of the loot spent we're gonna head on and do a bunch of attacks using the mass sneaky goblin attack strategy so how about we head on to a bunch of attacks and I'll come back once we find a decent base to attack. And the first raid of the day here isn't that much loot. It is only 500,000 of each. We have most of the loot on the outside as you see here. The storages and even the collectors are towards the outside. I'm going to drop two goblins on each of the storages and one goblin on every single collector going all the way around the base until we have no more loot buildings. I think I will just end off the raid and not even try to go for the town hall even though it is pretty close to the outside so I may even go for that. We'll wall break in towards the top and we'll use a bunch more goblins to head into the base. I don't use these super wall breakers just because I think it is just a little bit of a waste of a dark elixir even though you will farm a bunch of it uh, throughout the hour boost that you will do while you have the super goblins uh, unlocked or whatever they're called and we'll head over to the left side of the base here getting a bunch more loot and then we'll eventually head in towards the town hall and take that down taking down the dark elixir storage and the elixir storage over on the left and we'll use the rest of the wall breakers to open up this compartment here and then go over towards the town hall we'll use the warden with his ability here in a couple of seconds tornado trap does go off so that we'll protect them a little bit before they eventually will go down to the bomb tower and stuff but they will take down the town hall at least our warden does go down but i don't really think we're going to need to use him that much throughout this hour boost but 500,000 in the first raid isn't too bad another quick little raid here we have this tunnel 11 progress base we don't see this too often and the sneaky goblins are just going to take away this town hall and that clan castle over there dropping a couple of goblins going all the way down the storages and then just drop in a couple more on the collectors to get rid of every single loot building on the base and taking all 500,000 in around 20 seconds here. A very quick little ray. We're not even going to go for the 50%. In the last raid, I kind of forgot to drop the goblin and the minion for that challenge, but we did that here, so that should go into the season pass challenges to complete that, so we can complete the entire season pass. We've been finding some decent raids so far. We're up to 5. million gold on the tunnel 11 here. We're going to start off by dropping a couple of the uh, goblin and the minion for the challenge, and then going all the way around the base with the goblins, because I think most of the loot is inside these collectors and then we're going to jump everything in towards the very top and go for the town hall for the star so we can complete that challenge 
I'm not going to go for the Dark Elixir because all we really need it for is the Laboratory. We still have five days left in that upgrade. We'll use that and the Warden ability to get that Town Hall down. So we can head on to another attack. There we go, getting that Town Hall down, end off that raid, heading on to another quick attack. The next raid here has 1.1 million gold for this to max Town Hall 11. Most of the loot is probably inside of the storages, but they are pretty close to the outside, so we can get rid of these fairly easily. We'll see here after taking down all of the collectors, making sure to drop the goblin and the minion on the left side of the base. And we still have 500,000 of each, so there was actually a lot inside of the collectors. Uh, we're gonna go from the top side. We still have the king and the queen to use, so we'll probably use the king over on uh, the bottom left, maybe even both towards the bottom left. But we're going to warp break in towards the left side, I guess. We can't really do too much with these warp breakers, so we can't really get all of the loot unless we use the uh, war wrecker, the log launcher, which we will probably use. I kind of wasted those uh, wall breakers there, but not too bad. We're gonna head over and take down this storage here and drop in around five more to take down the storage up top. We'll drop the log launcher towards the bottom. It has a P.E.K.K.A. and a couple of giants inside of there. We'll also drop the king down here to take that down. So these storages should go down as well. We're going to jump everything in towards the top and get rid of these storages up here. And hopefully we can use the uh, queen over on the left side. Out comes uh, the P.E.K.K.A. and the Giants. And it looks like the P.E.K.K.A. will head down towards there. And the last little bit of the loot will be over on the left side. I'm going to try to go for the Town Hall as well. Just so we can get that star since we dropped the, uh, what's it called, the Goblin and that Minion. We'll drop a bunch more since that giant bomb took down a bunch of them. We'll use the king's ability and drop in the king or the queen over on the left side. Gonna have to drop a bunch more of these goblins with another freeze. We'll use it right at the right exact time right there. See if we can take down that town hall. And it should go down. There we go. We'll still have the queen's ability to use and we'll use it right here. Missing out on a couple of the uh, gold storages here. The queen attacks the wall. So I'm just gonna end off the raid. So we have a minute left, and that was kind of a longer raid than usual. Getting over a million of gold from this raid though, which is pretty good. And I think this will be the final attack before we head on and do a bunch of upgrades after filling up the storages, because we are filling this storages very, very quickly. We have this tunnel 11 with 800,000 of each. We're gonna drop a bunch of goblins towards the bottom, taking down all of these collectors, and then we'll head in towards the storages. Once again, this attack gets kind of repetitive, but uh, you get tons and tons of loot, so it is very worth it. We'll drop the wall breakers towards the top of the base, and then we'll uh, basically head in towards the base with the goblins, and taking down those two storages up here. We'll take down these down here, and maybe even drop the goblin and that minion there, taking down those things over here. The gold storage is still up at the very top, and we have a jump spell or two that we can drop towards the right side for those storages. Somehow these goblins aren't taking down these storages like I want them to. Uh, we'll use the queen towards the bottom with the king as well. And we'll work in towards the top, dropping a jump spell and a haste for these guys to speed through and take down these storages here. We're going to drop a poison for the enemy clan castle so the queen can take down a bunch more of these storages. Let's see if we can take down the clan castle. I think the poison will, but it will take down our queen alongside of that. We're going to use a bunch more of our goblins to break open into this base. I think that is basically the last of our uh, basically storages and stuff. We'll take down that building there, drop in a couple more, and we'll drop the jump spell and a couple of hastes just so we can get this town hall down. And we'll use the freeze on here. Taking down that town hall there, heading on to a bunch more attacks off camera because we did around five attacks on camera showing you guys the attack strategy. So I'll come back once you finish the boost or fill up our storages. And we're back at the base and the storages for gold and elixir have been filled and we still have around 15 minutes left in the boost, but I think I'm just gonna stop 
with attacking for now because I have a ton of loot that I have to get spending around the base. We're going to start off by heading down towards the Wizard Towers. We have two more of these guys to go up to the max level at 6.12 million gold in a seven and a half day time for both of these. We don't have enough for this one right at the moment, but I think we can get some if we head over to the treasury. And there we go. We should have enough now. So if we head back over to the Wizard Tower here, we can get this other one upgraded to max level. We still have two builders and we're gonna upgrade one more Wizard Tower, this new one up to the same level as the other ones. I am gonna continue to upgrade this up to the same level as the other ones up to level nine and then we'll continue this one up to level 10 once that happens and gets it up to level nine we now have one builder left and we're going to be upgrading the warden up to level uh, 17 before we do that though we're going to head over to a couple of walls and complete these we'll upgrade one more and that should be enough still to upgrade the warden up to level 17 at 5.95 million elixir and almost six day time for this guy here and in the next episode we will be getting him up to max level so make sure to stay tuned for that but other than that we don't really have too many more things to do even though we have 15 minutes left in the boost i am going to end it off for today's video we still have a bunch of stuff to do in the next video like upgrading the warden up to max level so if you want to see any more town 11 content like this make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one peace out